I want to check the timing on PJ. So I'm going to put together a tool for finding top dead centre. Old spark plug. This is my second go at making this top dead centre tool. And I know this will break not too bad. Now we have this, and that's a hard part. I'll go and work on that. Come back. Okay, this is my homemade piston stop, and that's the shortest long ball I could find. The double nuts are just to lock them. Same with the two at the top, but that lets me turn it with a spanner. Two manuals I have suggest setting the bottom of the bolt 15mm and the bottom of the plug threads. Now we're thinking of making one of these. Unless someone can tell you an easy way to break the bakelite out, out from in there, I wouldn't bother. I tried masonry bits, tile bits, metal bits. You can break it in there, you can break it there, but it's tougher than tough concrete in there. I busted a screwdriver trying to chisel it out. Maybe if I kept banging it with a the hammer there, it'd have broke up. It's too late now, so it's done. Anyway, I couldn't wait in the postman, so I persevered. Okay, piston stops in. I already marked it in red. So. It spins quite easy. Touches. Touches. Marked it in red. Okay. To get the flywheel off, I'm invested in a double sided puller. Spanish threads, Italian threads. Only meant about halfway on for some reason, but it's enough. And a little tension, tap tap, a little more tension, tap tap, and it will come right off. My old buddy Peter taught me that. And there you go. Homemade timing disc. Best site I found is this one, blockwear.com. It's free. Ask you to spread the word. Tell a friend. Uh, I'm computer illiterate so I can work this out, anyone can. If you get the site up, go to printable templates, scroll down to degree wheels and click. Go to degree wheel, do not click on inch, click on degree wheel and metric appears. Uh, and the timing disk. I found the lines something of a nuisance, so if you click on outer degree, valve timing, the lines disappear. If you click on colour, you get to black and white. Overline, easier to cut, is quite useful. It adds short extensions onto all the degree lines as a cutting guide. Like so. There is a flaw I must mention. Unless I'm doing something wrong, the size and gauge does not appear to calibrate. The diameter of the mag housing is 160. To achieve 160, I had to put in 228. The centre is not an issue, but 25 gets you about 17. If you press calculate, it will change there too. But you do get a decent wheel. Easy to work with. And then go to print. There are three pages. Don't don't want them all. Customize. Page two. And your timing wheel comes up. That's all you need. One copy and print. This is what you get. Put stick it to some nice cardboard. If you have drill bits, you could drill out the centre. If not, cut Stanley in some cuts. Cut out the perimeter. Cut some slots in. And you will have a usable timing disc. That will get you by. 228 comes out as 160, 25 comes out as 17. It's a new day. Sky's blue, sun's out. Time to find top dead centre, which I've already done. Zero's on piston stop mark one, piston stop mark two, 55 degrees. 
half of that, 27.5 top dead centre I don't know if it's visible but there's a groove in the case in the casing of the housing right where that paint mark is probably the factory setting is bang on if I spin it round to top dead centre 27.5 on the setting piston stop mark good so if I spin this round it'll suffice for the now so if I put bottom dead centre on the top dead centre mark with lead being taken out of fuel everything I read suggests that 19 degrees before top dead centre is what you want for an engine these days there is a groove there which is probably the original factory setting the flywheel slot for Woodruff key the Woodruff key so an Italian sounding, I googled it, developed by W.M. Woodruff in 1888, a native of Connecticut, U.S. of A. If you ever watch Chasing Classic Cars, you'll be familiar with a nice little corner of Connecticut. The flywheel. Firing points. Starter plate. Pick up points. This mark, when married together, this mark should align with the mark in the flywheel. Before I started delving into this area, as for me it was going one step beyond, I put a reference mark on the flywheel and the housing. Now I put it back to its original position. I find it I'm two to three degrees above the timing lines on the black ignition coil and if I put it to a new firing point I find I'm two to three degrees below so I'm going to have to adjust the starter plate a couple of mil starter plate the white line crossing the black pickup coil is a timing line I've undone the three bolts so I can twist it that little bit ink marked the housing so I'm aware of how much it moves refitted the starter plate turns out I could get 2mm of movement in it it's now tight against the bolts top dead centre the original firing point I presume the black mark is 19 degrees before top dead centre the black mark here is where the arrow is on the flywheel and the marks on the ignition coil and the flywheel are bang on hard to get it to Sh probably hard to get it to show up but it's pretty good soon be talking double dutch with the best of them